Hello, Ken Golding here, and uh, I'm one of the board members at IUSA Records, and I'd like to just take a few minutes to walk you through the submission process for a new world record. So, in order to do that, there's going to be a lot of steps along the way, and I'm going to try to put together a video that just outlines the whole thing for you. So, the first thing you're going to want to do is just go to iusarecords.com. When you get to iusarecords.com, this is the main website, and right here smack dab in the middle of the menu bar, you'll see Submit. Go ahead and click on Submit, and you'll see a couple of steps here. I'm going to skip one and two. Just remember that they're there, and you can go back to them a little bit later, and I'll talk about those here in a second. First thing you're going to want to do is submit your online application. So when you click that right there, it's going to take you in and ask for your name, and your email address. What we're doing here is we want to make sure that this is actually you and not uh, just somebody spamming our system. So we'll send you an email. So we go ahead and uh, click that. You're going to get to this page and it says check your email for a link that allow you to continue uh, the submission process. So what you're going to do is go check your email. And I've opened up my email here, and here's the submission. You're going to see a, uh, an email from IUSA Records Submission received for Ken Golding. Ken Golding is going to be whatever you typed in as your name. So when you click view, view your submission, it's going to open up your submission to the very first page where we need to have some information before we can, we can continue. So we have the date submitted the date of the catch. If the date of the catch was not the same day that you're submitting it, so let's just say I did it on October 1st, just change it right there. Now we have to pick a category. Your choices on category is men or women, a sling pole spear or spear gun. In this case, let's say it was a, a pole spear. We need to now select the fish. So find your fish on this list and select it. If for some reason you don't see your fish on this list, it is possible that we don't have every fish that's out there. We have a fish biologist on, on the board, Mark Steele, and he can help identify fish. So just put the common name in there if you don't know the fish. Even though we say it's required, common name can substitute for that. If you know the scientific name, put it on there. We can change this after the fact. The next thing is the weight. What is the weight of your fish? Let's say your fish was five and a half pounds. If you enter it like five and a half pounds, and you can pick pounds or kilograms, it doesn't matter, we convert that back and forth. If you pick five and a half pounds, that will not work. You have to do it as a decimal 5.5. Pick your country and then your location. So be as specific as you can possibly be without uh, if you're worried about giving up your spot we don't need latitude and longitude coordinates but just be as specific as you can so we'll do off Palm Beach Inlet and then we click to continue at this point we're ready to start gathering information for your your submission so there's a floating menu that sits at the bottom and it outlines all the different areas so when you click top it's going to take you right back here so what we're going to do is I'm going to walk you through each of the areas the first information that we need is scale information we'd like you to fill out all this information here next you'll see witnesses and story so what we need you to do is fill out all the information about who was on the trip is their email addresses their names the other divers that are there as much information as you can give us also give us a story of the hunt this will actually show up on your world record at the bottom so uh, if, if you have if you want to see an idea of what they're like you can go look at some of the world records then we're gonna want to know the measurements about your fish so you can pick inches or centimeters and again enter them as decimals not as fractions so put in your girth your fork the overall length and then we need the receipt from your PayPal and you don't have to have that right in the, right at this minute, but we are going to need it before you can submit it for review. So the next thing that we're going to want to do is the photos. However, before you do your photos, you need to hit save and continue. And that will allow 
we'll, we'll save the record and get ready to upload the photos. So we're going to hop over to the photos thing and you'll see that there's a couple of pieces we need. First photo that we're going to need is a scan or a photo of page two of your application. So what I've done is on my desktop I've created a folder that has all the pictures that I'm going to want to use and this one is page two of the app that's been scanned. When you choose the file that's just telling your browser what file we're going to be sending up. You have to hit upload after each picture. So the way it works is you choose your file then you hit upload. The system will gyrate a little bit you'll see the spinning wheel and then your your picture will show up there. The next one we want is the diver with the fish. So this is a picture that's going to be used when the record displays or it could be. You get to pick that below. So in this case um, I just have some mock pictures here. I would pick uh, that picture and then I would hit upload. So remember you always choose the file then you hit upload. Hunting equipment used. So I think I have a picture of a gun in this picture so we'll use this right here and there's a picture. We really would like to see a better picture of the hunting equipment used. We would like a picture of the girth measurement, the length measurement, the fish on the scale with the weight showing. Make sure that we can see that good. Sometimes it's really hard. The numbers are blurred and it can become a point of contention. So one thing we like to do is with uphold our integrity here. So we want to make sure that we can see it. And these are actually kept as documentation that this was in fact the record. Next thing we want is the picture of the scale certification, the stamp or the documentation and then we give you the ability to put up to six more photos if you want. The last thing that you're going to want to do is pick which photo you want to be uh, on the website. It's either going to be the diver with fish or one of the additional photos. Then you can save and continue editing or if you filled out everything including your PayPal transaction number all your pieces are filled out and you think you're ready to go you can submit it for review. Once you submit it for review, uh, the board will look at it. If everything's right, it'll go into voting. If there's any questions, we'll reach out to you. Uh, we may have to have additional pictures or additional clarification or if you just ac actually forgot something that we need. Once it's done, it'll go into voting and then the process goes from there. The voting's fully automatic through, uh, not fully automatic, but it's fully online. The voting is using the same online system, so the board members all vote online. And this is what the board members look at when they, when they put their votes in. So you want to make sure that uh, you're very detailed in filling out your information. Hopefully that helps. If not, reach out to Andy or myself, Ken at KenGolding.com, and we'll be glad to get you uh, online. And Happy hunting and good luck out there. Be safe. Thank you.